Imitating to sit in meditation even helps. When a child sits next to the mother, does it know what meditation is? Child simply imitates, looks at mother's eyes, the eyes are closed. The child looks at father's eyes, eyes are closed. He sits still and quiet. Once what happened? A Catholic family went to buy something from the market. So here child picked up Buddha's statue. Mother said, don't buy this. She said, but mom, he looks very quiet. And you always tell us to be quiet, to leave you alone. If we take it home, perhaps it will help. What I mean to say, you, you hear mother saying every day, children, leave me alone, be quiet. And that is not only your desire. Children also like to be left alone. And they also want to be quiet. You see. How to be quiet? What is that quietness? You find that quietness and stillness even in cemeteries. It's very quiet there. Everything is still. Do you mean to say we need quietness of cemeteries? No, we need living quietness. A human being moves, functions, does his duties, conducts his duties. Yet he remains in a state of balance, undisturbed, and that is called quietness. You see, purpose of Gita is not to make anyone, convert anyone, but lead one to a state of height, of sthiti, tranquility. Is one, as Patanjali describes, a variety of samādhi. Many, many states of samādhi he describes. Savikalpa, nirvikalpa, sampagyāta, sampragyāta, savīja, nirvīja, and finally leads you to kaivalyam, muktkere. Hmm? Absolute one, when you are free, from the clutches of prakriti, when Purusha finds himself completely free. And we can do that. We can practice and do that. So I want you to give me five minutes of questions, and then I am going to give you the whole system and how to apply that system in your daily life living in the world. Anyone has questions? Have you, or have you asked questions from Pandiji? Hmm? Okay, come on. Charlie is very fond of asking questions. He is ready to have my and questions in his hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is the sound of the mantra considered subtle or gross? It can be produced both ways. If I mutter it outside, it is gross. If I mutter it, remember it mentally, it is very subtle. It depends how you use it. There are three categories of sadhakas, tamasa, like Ramana, if you have heard. Like Rama, like Basista. You see. 
There are three qualities of mind. Have you purified your mind to remember mantra to attain samadhi or to awaken sattva, the highest of quality, divinity in you? Have you or have you been using mind in your day-to-day -day life, in daily activities, remembering your mantra, meditation in action? Have you been remembering your mantra with tamasa full of sloth, not having good feelings and thoughts? You have right to do that. In the past, the great veilers of the night have done like Ravana. And they were, they had power, great powers. Yet they did not attain the highest state as Patanjali says, Samadhi. Remembering mantra is everyone's right as inhalation. Even the worm inhales. Anything that moves inhales. So, tamasa is not the point here. Purify your mind, your chitpratis, and then let sattva be awakened which is sleeping. There are three qualities in human life. Animal in human being, human in human being, and divine in human being. It depends which one do you promote. Patanjali says, promote sattva. And then tells you. By promoting that, for promotion of sattva, the highest of quality, divinity, learn to use your mantra. And that mantra should not be used in a gross way. Mantra becomes empty if you use it outside. See. Mantra becomes very powerful if it goes on inside. I have seen tremendous power of mantra. Myself I have experienced and I have seen many, many sages. I will tell you. At Rishikesh, there was a place called Jhari, bushes, where the Swamis used to live, not in the houses, but a small thatched cottages built in that area called Jhari, bushes. Jhari means bush. And they would leave, anyone would come and next will leave. They were meant for those wanderers who wander from one place to another. So I, I also went with my master. There was a Swami. My master said, there is only one Swami among all these. There were twenty-five, thirty people staying. Nobody talked and disturbed anyone. But that old man is Siddha, accomplished one. Watch him, go to him, see, learn something. Many people, disciples used to come, masters used to come to learn some from my master. But I wouldn't learn from him. 